This is a video comparing the original 2015 iPad Pro 12.9 to the new 2017 iPad Pro 10.5 from an artist standpoint. If you haven't already seen my original video for the iPad Pro 12.9 review for the artist, please see that first, as this is only going to cover the differences between the two. Now size-wise, it's quite a bit smaller than the 12.9, and it's only a little bit bigger than the 9.7. What you notice right away is the size is much easier to handle, so drawing on your lap is much easier. So I actually don't mind the smaller screen for actually doing art. Um, I draw pretty small, so that's not a problem there. What I do notice is when you have a whole bunch of layers on and you're doing layer adjustments or certain adjustments where you want to see the full screen, as you can see here, the 12.9 just provides so much more space. 120Hz ProMotion screen is something that you can't really capture in video because video is only 30 frames per second here um, and the screen refreshes at 120. So what I've done is taken a slow motion video so uh, when you play back you can kind of see the differences. Um, in real life everything is just much much smoother and this is something you really kind of have to experience yourself. So I recommend going to a store where you can um, check it out in person because it's really impossible to show here. Now for art, this means that pinch zooming is much smoother now. Apple did not update the pencil. So the new refresh rate actually makes the lag a bit less because you can kind of see here in slow motion, it does track better and faster. So for me, the difference in the lag is noticeable if you're looking for it, but it's not a huge difference. So what is noticeable is the speed increase. It's 30% faster uh, processor. So doing things like exporting PSDs uh, from Procreate, which takes a little while, is 30% faster now. Last year's 2016 iPad Pro 9.7 had the True Tone, but my original 12.9 never did. So as you can see here, the smaller iPad is quite a bit warmer in color uh, temperature than the larger iPad. That's because it's adjusting for the ambient room lighting. I actually really like it. It just feels more natural. So the new glass surface is less reflective. This is in the shade outside, and as you can see, the bright blue sky behind me is a bit less reflective on the new version. And although the new 10.5 is brighter, it's still impossible to use it under direct sun. So the camera has been improved. This is useful if you want to scan in your sketches by just taking a picture of your sketch and then coloring it in one of the art apps. I've had the original iPad Pro since it came out in 2015, so I've been using it non-stop. It's my main art tool, I use it for work. And I think this new update isn't a huge change, it's a bunch of little things that makes up for a really nice you know, little upgrade. So if you're new to the iPad Pro for you know making art, you might want to conserve one of the older ones. I'm sure you can get really nice prices now. If you're considering upgrading from you know, a previous version of the iPad Pro, I hope this video helped. That's it. Please uh, like and subscribe and go make some art.